Oh, it's a special one. It's Sea Spray for Sea Spray 717. Yes, Clint. The ever lovable guy, the backbone of the community, at least this part of the community universe. Clint, you fucking rock. You're the man. Wow. Thanks for all the shoutouts for me and for other people. I've got to know a lot of fantastic reviewers thanks to you. And so, this little G2 Sea Spray review for you. Straight from my fucking bed sheet. And uh, it may be a bit dark because all my mobile light sources are dead. Three or four of them gone dead within a week. And that's part uh, of why I haven't posted videos lately. But G2 C spray. Our uh, lovely uh, water slash underwater Autobot uh, special agent. Now with the metallic blue all over him. He lacks the rub sign, but oh, oh well, what can we do? Still has the propellers. Yeah, um, he doesn't connect in the middle and as far as I've seen all of the G2 sea sprays uh, do this and the G1s as well but okay. One thing I really really love about this guy is how much he reminds me of monsters from old monster movies. The way he transforms. Just like the monsters raising from the graves, slash crypts, slash coffins, or caskets, as, as you'd like. That's him. That's the transformation. And his articulation? Again. As good as calling for brains, brains, brains. Detailing? Well, <laughs> yeah, the face has none. He does have molded in fists which are hollow as well as the arms and as you, as you can see mine has some scratches on the chrome but come on he is quite old even being G2 yeah we can forgive quite a lot from these guys G2 symbol on the thigh on the outer thigh very nice oh is what it says hmm still fantastic robot mode fantastic old mode you can't hate minibots minibots fucking rock yeah yes they do but Clint that would be too obvious there's a little special for you the sea spray I have made uh, 16 years ago as a kid yep as the sea spray as he first appeared in Transformers comic books. Yes, he's chibified, although in the comic books he did have a big head. And no propellers, of course, because he's in his Cybertronian mode. Uh, that's from the comic book um, when they first used the uh, Space Bridge. And Perceptors and Blasters team of minibots arrived on Earth in that issue. Here's his robot mode. And here is his old mode, because yes, Sea Spray first was a three-wheeler, a land vehicle without propellers, with only blasters on top. And as you can see, they got crooked when they were cooked. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Um, he didn't have the propellers, and he was spraying the missiles from his... Um, Um, mounted cannons thingies and um, I read something on the internet that said he was meant to be called Spray simply on Cybertron at least and then he turned to be Sea Spray and became the water-based transformer hmm oh well we'll swallow that as well okay tiny plug from my oldies 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 but let's have a look at the stickers, which are all at the place and looking fucking great. Uh, the Autobot insignia, that's a strange thing. He's got G1 Autobot insignia on his chest and G2 on his thigh. Hmm. I have no idea really, but I enjoy him just as much. Okay, that's for you Clint.
and now something for my subscribers I've passed 150 subscribers recently at least recently I've noticed it uh, I'm at 157 people w willing to endure the shit fest that my videos are you guys fucking rock you rocking fuck uh, as good from the front as from the behind no matter how bad that sounds but Uh, I should be posting something a bit special just for you guys, just to celebrate the number uh, and the commitment of you, I guess, of watching my videos. That's that's fucking crazy. Okay, mm, so something new coming soon. My bed's shaking. Yeah, holy shit! I've invited 157 people into my bed. And a year ago, I've popped my YouTube cherry by answering Carol Prime's questions. Now my ass hurts. Bye, guys.